This is some green light good stuff called Caveman Warriors and holy crap would you look at that. It's a live action trailer. They've actually got a live action trailer here and it's, it's all right. Look at that, well shot. Good costumes, some set design. It's not like that BMC Studio crap. This is some actual effort and production value. I'm impressed, cavemen. Using an arcade machine there. I'm gonna show us the game in a second. Here we go. So this is the game, Caveman Warriors. It's a side-scrolling platform beat-em-up with four characters that you can switch to, or you can play it co-op if you want. Look, see there, there's the text. I'm not a liar, four-player co-op. How about that? With unique character skills, that also happens. Go smash blocks, throw stick. Little monkey? I think that was a little monkey. And then there was the, the yellow one, who has a big, I don't know, bit of meat. Just a, bit, just a big bit of meat on the on the yellow one. I think that's her unique skill, big bit of meat. So, yeah, this looks cool. This looks fun. I like this level especially here. That that's, that's cute, some sort of dinosaur race. And here are the cavemen again. They're all waiting to have a go. They can't wait. It's four-player co-op, but that machine is only for one player, so the other cavemen, they're out of luck. They're fucked. Sorry about that, caveman. The blue one has monkeys. So, Caveman Warriors, it has a Kickstarter, of course. You can have a look at the Kickstarter if you like it enough to want to give it some money. You don't have to, I ain't telling you where to spend your money. Spend your money wherever the goddamn hell you want. That blue one has monkeys. Sorry, every time I see a artwork, I see the blue guy, and he's got monkeys. I can't tell if it's, if it's one two-headed monkey, or two monkeys that are very close together. I think it's a two-headed monkey. I think it's got a two-headed monkey gang. Nicely set out Greenlight page, they talk about their inspirations, they mention Joe and Mac, New Super Mario, Trine, Metal Slug and Castle Crashers, they're all fine games to want to be inspired by, different playable characters, we spoke about that, varied enemies, each level has different enemies, they all work differently, secret levels, thumbs up, different game mechanics, our game has different game mechanics, most levels are platformers, but we also have a runner light level, oh, okay, fair enough, a bit like Rayman Origins I guess, because that, that mixed it up a bit with some auto runner type stuff, and some platformer stuff and those musical levels were god i want to play rayman origins again i might I might have to do that get a better look at these characters anyway the ninja warrior jack an excellent cave warrior not the smartest or most handsome he attacks with his stone axe he throws that that's something you can do hit nearby enemies with the axe or otherwise throw it at them if they are further away special attack is called unstoppable onslaught enters rage mode charges forward takes out everything in the way um, we saw that in the trailer with him smashing through them rocks the last rider liliana the young but fierce maiden liliana has put the alpha males around her in their place, becoming the most skillful Amazon of the tribe. With her spear, she can deal quick and painful strikes. Uh, yep, she just uses the spear, jabby, 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 and turn that into a dash, and she can throw it. And we, we all saw that in the trailer as well. Throw it, you can make a little platform for yourself. Now, here's that blue one with the monkey stuff. The Shaman of the Song mode. Two drums in hand. I, I don't care about any of it. Just tell me about the monkey. Most special attack is called Monkey Song and is used to distract enemies and make them dance to the catchy rhythm and forget everything else they were doing. Right, but is it a two-headed monkey? It's a, it, it is definitely a two-headed monkey. I'm seeing one body, two heads. Why? I need to know what that is. This is before genetically modified food. So that monkey should neither be blue nor two-headed. And then the Beauty Brienne, which... I believe is a Song of Ice and Fire slash Game of Thrones reference. The beauty of the tribe first to go out and hunt and get herself some tasty mammoth's flesh, then waiting in the cave and collecting fruits and berries. Thanks to her strong build and her heavy flesh stick! Hooray! That's better than what I said, heavy flesh stick. I like that, there's our subtitle for the video. She's become a relentless warrior, uses the stick piece of meat as a heavy club to hit her foes with an overwhelming force. Her special ability is called Behind Me, consists of using her meat stick as a shield in front of her, protecting her and her allies. Okay, so she shields up. That's your four characters. So the gameplay looks fun. Definitely looks fun. Uh, the character models, that's a, a bit of a mixed bag. Now, I like the dinosaur designs. I like, in fact, every enemy design, even the human ones. But the four main characters look oddly amateurish compared to the rest of it. Uh, the backdrops are great. The dinosaurs are fantastic. It's just something about the four main characters. I don't know if it's something about the way they're proportioned bodily and headily. Uh, if it's just just like the line work and the drawing, but something about it looks just a little bit, just a little bit over the line of amateur. 
I feel like this game would benefit more if the four main characters were visually improved. But as far as the gameplay goes, obviously you can only talk about so much with a trailer, but I do like that they're going for some variety while maintaining the side-scrolling perspective. Combat looks chaotic, but not so chaotic that you don't know what the hell's going on. And generally it just looks like a very competent, well-put-together game, and a really impressive trailer that you really don't see often uh, here on Steam Greenlight for as long as green lights got left. So thumbs up to this, hope it does well. Until spring I'm going to be on the lookout for more potential green light good stuff candidates because well we've really only got a very limited window now to try and help as many promising games as we can. So that's what we're going to do. So Caveman Warriors, there we are. That's a game you've looked at.